Hello there, peasants, and welcome! Good freaking lord, we're actually playing some Team Fortress 2! Holiest of craps, now considering that Overwatch is coming out very, very soon, and I'm still waiting to get into the effing closed beta, although I will most likely pre-order and get into the open beta of whatever it is, I still have not managed to get in, so I thought... Let's get a bit of practice in. Let's get a bit of let's get a bit of first person practice going on. And what better to play on than freaking Team Fortress Bloody 2! Team Fortress Fing 2 is what we are playing on right now. And I'm playing as the demo man with the lock and load. I have the Tide Turner, I believe it's called. And of course, the he uh, the horseman's head taker of horseman's head taking horrifically horribleness. So yeah. Here we bloody we are. Now, this is the first game that I played after returning to Team Fortress 2. I logged in today, jumped into a game, and this is basically what happened. I don't actually do too bad. I think this is, except from here where I just get murked, but I'm pretty sure this is kind of a game that if you've been good at it in the past, and I'm not boasting, but if you've been relatively good at it in the past, then you're going to be good at it pretty quickly any other time. So, I'm not doing too bad. Like I said, I've gone over. I've gone over. And I thought, you know what? Let's give let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. And we're even doing a non-live commentary. Who I know, I know, a, a non-live commentary. Now, generally speaking, I do all my commentaries live just because they're more spur of the moment. They're more kind of fun to do. However, with my TF2 videos, my older TF2 videos, anyway, I used to have them. Um, I used to do commentary over the top of them, like I am now, where it was a little bit more. Not formal, but I could talk about kind of anything the hell I wanted. It wasn't spur of the moment. I wasn't being distracted by, of course, what was going on on the screen. But I could just kind of talk and chat a load of crap. Now we have a deathly spy here who's terrible, which I managed to ping in the face with a pipe bomb of brilliance that I fired across there. The pipe bomb of brilliance. That's what we're going to know it as. I should probably rename this the pipe bomb launcher of brilliance. Mm, may do that. And of course we have the pesky medics. But yes. We are, we are playing this game, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. I enjoyed playing this thoroughly. It's definitely going to be something I pick up a little bit more often and upload to the channel. My channel started on Team Fortress 2, so I feel I kind of owe it to the channel now that we're in our fifth year. Our fifth freaking year of being around. And we aren't doing too bad. We're, get, we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. But we aren't doing too bad, and I'm quite happy about that. So, you know, it's been a long, it's been a long time. The main subject of my life currently is how terrible my internet is it's utterly dire it's basically it's so bad in fact i can no longer upload my 30 minute videos well i can but it just means i have to have my computer on for hours and hours and hours and yes i kind of have i do that anyway but it's primarily the amount of time that i have it on anyway when i'm back at home from work and such like that which isn't the amount of time required to do an upload for those sort of things the other day I uploaded a half an hour Minecraft episode. Yes, it was in 1080p, but a half an hour Minecraft episode, it took me eight hours, which is basically the entire day. It took me the entire day, actually two days, basically, to get it uploaded, which was ridiculous. It just reminded me of the good old days when I was using it um, when I was back at home and I had terrible internet then. But the, the fact that I'm in a city, and I've said this many times if you've watched my previous videos, the fact that I'm in a city and have terrible internet is ridiculous. It basically means I'm gonna have to move again uh, in the, in the future, in the not too, in the not too distant future, might I add, because I have terrible internet and I can't I can't do what I want to do. I cannot stream. I cannot upload long videos. I cannot really do anything. I have to rely on shorter videos like these. But these still take uh, like two hours to upload. Ten minute videos take two hours to upload. It's insane considering in my previous address. They took like minutes. They took like 12 minutes to upload a 10 minute video. Five minute videos would take five minutes. It was utterly, utterly insane of how quick it was. However, I'm looking around and seeing if there's anything available currently. Um, there are some relatively good places, but I obviously want it if I'm if I'm moving out of this place, which is a nice place. It's a good size flat. It is a decent size flat. I have a big bedroom, a big living room, kitchen, all that kind of stuff. Um, and obviously you want to go somewhere which is, is relatively similar. Now, I've potentially found somewhere else that apparently has virgin fibre optic, which is like super fibre optic here in the UK. Um, it's like 200 megabytes of madness that you can play around with. Now, if I had that, I'd be streaming like nearly every night if I had the opportunity to. I work now as well. I work full-time during the day as a software tester. 
which is okay. It's okay. Can get a little mind-numbingly boring sometimes. But the days go quickly because I'm permanently occupied with something. But yes, so I'm doing that during the day. So I'm up early in the morning. I get home at like just after half five. And then I get my computer on, check my emails, check all my kind of stuff like that. And then focus on trying to get a video made for the next day. Now, that making the actual video isn't so difficult. But now that I can't do my longer Let's Plays... It's a little bit more harder to think of something to do or to try and get some inspiration for something. I cannot shoot that freaking sentry gun. Save my life. It takes me about 400 million tries. I can't even shoot it there. I'm still not used to how it fl how the uh, how the pipe bombs fly out of this thing. But I'm sure I'll get it in the end. Um, what was I talking about? I can't even remember. For God's sake. Uh, look, there we go. We got it. There we bloody go. Skillage. Utter skillage. So yes, um, they have like, uh, what was I bloody talking about? Fiber optic, streaming, uploading. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't even know anymore. I can't even, I can't even remember. I'm just sort of my mind just gone blank. Like, nope, cheap, nope. You, you've already, you've already sidetracked. The moment's gone. Leave it. We do get a nice cheeky cap there. Nice cheeky cap and a nice couple of little assists slash kills slash steamages there. So we're, we're doing okay. We're actually doing all right here at the moment. This, though, on this particular map, which is Gold Rush, it is the last the last bit of Gold Rush. This little bit here is a choke point of freaking choke points. It's ridiculous. If you've got a decent sniper, one or two engineers, they can basically hold down this entire little bit if they wanted to. And obviously the other people on your team will, will aid you in your, in your endeavours. But ultimately, if you've got a super speedy... Um, that was really unfortunate that I didn't manage to get his uh, his head there. What? What the freaking hell is he doing? That guy that just spoke there. What was that noise? What on earth was that noise he was playing on his... I don't even... Seriously, is he watching like some stupid little cartoon in the background or something? I could not think... If you know what that noise is related to, please post down in the comments about what it is. Because I am quite intrigued to what on earth just raped my ears. It was bizarre. It was bizarre. So, we're doing okay. We're still on this choke point. I'm still flinging pipe bombs like mental. I am a terrible shot. I still haven't quite gotten the idea. Maybe that's what I was talking about. But I haven't quite got the, um... I haven't quite got the, the angle, you know, of, of how the pipe bombs fly. I've, I've lost that little bit of skill. Still, still getting used to it. We'll get there in the end, though. We will get there in the end. We will. We will indeed. How are we doing? How are we doing? I think we're on maybe... Oh, God. We've still got four minutes. Well, I don't know if it's four minutes of the video, but we've still got four whole bloody minutes of this game left, which is which is ages in TF2 world. It is a hell of a long... It is a hell of time. Hell of time that we've got in this... Uh, in this in the TF2 world with a crazy guy. Crazy. You see, I got... That was a spy. I did not just kill that soldier. That was a spy that I just... Look there, you can see his body on the floor that I just killed there. That was mental. Utterly mental. I forgot how insane this game actually is. And I really, really cannot wait. There he is! Quick, get him! Put him! Uh, get... Yes. Yes. Skillage. Anyway, I cannot be... Cannot be bothered. I cannot wait, is what I was trying to say, to play Overwatch. Desperately need that game in my life. So pissed off. I have not got into the base yet. The closed, the closed beta that only certain people are allowed in because bleh. Even though I've been signed up for that beta since the the beta was announced back in like E3, and they're claiming that oh yes, we invite people depending on the time they've been you know they've been signed up, computer specs. Even though you can't update your computer specs on the Blizzard website anymore anyway, and all this kind of crap. So you know it's like come on, freaking invite me. Don't make me pre-order your game. Just so I get into the, you know, the early access thing for the pre-orders get. Even though I will most likely pre-order your game anyway when I get some more money. But, you know, don't don't make me do it that way, guys. I mean, come on. Cut me some slack. I mean, I got in, obviously, for the, the early thing. The, uh, the, no, the open weekend they did. Which they need to do another one of, by the way, so I can play the game. It's too, it's too bad in. It's too bad in. It will feature very heavily. It will feature very heavily on that. And now the game is slowly coming to a close but overwatch will feature heavily on my channel when it comes out i'm going to be featuring that a lot it's going to appear a lot i know i say this for a lot of games but um 
Overwatch will do. Because it's one of those games you can pick up, have a couple of games, and that's it. You don't need to sit there for four million hours trying to get something decent. You just kind of upload whatever. Kind of up games. You feel you do well on. So there we have it. 2-1. And we have come to the end of the game. But before we do come to the end of the game, I do go on a little bit of a crazy rampage and try and get that last cap. We sneakily get behind these guys. We're like, no, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. In comes an engineer. We take his head off. Oh no! But I'm getting murked by their team. And unfortunately, with crazy lady laughing in the background, I do die. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this TF2 video. It's been good fun to make. Please don't forget to give us a good old-fashioned like, a comment down below of something interesting, like I asked you earlier, and a subscribe as well. And I will see you, I will see you, I will see you, I will see you. Don't forget, new friends. Goodbye. Like, we didn't get very far, but here we are! Oh my god! It never used to do that! <laughs> Holy crap, that was, that was so exciting! Okay, this is Bro Mando, guys, aka Commando, aka Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold!